Welcome to Lesson 70 in the Basic JavaScript section of Free Code Camp. Today's lesson, chaining if-else statements. So if-else statements can be chained together for complex logic. Here is pseudocode of multiple chained if-else if statements. So they have if condition 1 is true, we do statement 1. Else if condition two, then we do statement two. Else if condition three, then we do statement three. And so forth until else. So if none of these other ones are true, then we default to this else. Statement and makes sense. Instructions right chained if else if statements to fulfill the following conditions so that should be pretty easy you should have at least four else statements you should have at least four if statements test size zero should return tiny uh, test size four tiny test size five small and so forth so you really just need that part of the code so i'm only changing code below this line only change code above this line so inside of here we could start our if statements we could do if num less than five like it said there we want it to do this so we do our curly braces and what we want that to do if true we want it to return the string tiny so that's that first condition. We're chaining now the next else if. Then we do num less than 10. That's true. We want to do this. We want it to return small. Forgot my semicolons. And then we do our next else if. Fifteen. We want it to do this, which is return medium. Else if num less than twenty, we want it to do this return large and else if num greater than or equal to 20 do this we want to return huge okay so now we have chained a bunch of if else if statements and then we want else we want it to return change So that should now fulfill all these. If we're to pass in zero, zero would be passed into num. It will run this first one. If zero is less than five, it will return tiny. If we do four here, we do, it will do the same thing. If we do five, it will print small. So it should be good now. Let's see, and we're good.